Bay Business Journal hits newsstands today, and editor Alexis Milner is here to talk about some of the week's big stories. Good morning. Good morning to you. Happy Friday. Happy Friday to you, too. <laughs> We're going to start off with some good news. Uh, Channel Side Cinemas and its plan to reorganize. That's pretty exciting. Well, they're reorganizing. I mean, it's, um, it may be eventually because, because what's happening is they're in bankruptcy. Oh, okay. <laughs> so so it's, it's not necessarily the best, but, but usually out of those situations, it comes a positive. Now, uh, here's a cinema in an urban center fighting with its current owner, saying that, it, that, they're, that the owner's not keeping up and then the owner saying they haven't paid rent since 2009. These kinds of urban centers may not necessarily be the linchpin to economic development in that area. It's often been seen as the driver, but if you go a couple blocks away to some of the condos like Grand Central on Kennedy, there's a sort of a thriving retail scene. They're adding a lot of tenants. And so there's a bit of a shift going on as we look to this sluggish recovery. Where are these spots going to help drive, especially in downtown Tampa, St. Petersburg, and our main centers? What's going to be the focus? And, and the channel side, given the, what's going on at the theater, uh, may not be the, the, the focus. Yeah, so something to continue to watch, and of course you'll keep us up to date oh, on Oh yeah, it. interesting story. All right, and as we get ready to prepare for next year's Republican National Convention, hotels, of course, are considering a rate change. Let me guess, increasing? Well, what happened, what we found out this week, in our, and we cover tourism a lot, is that Tampa and St. Pete, um, the market is one of the lowest in the country in terms of the level that rates have risen. You look at some other markets, and, they're, and they've gone up much more, and this is a really tricky dilemma. We have it in the papers a bit of a debate between hoteliers that are trying to weigh whether or not they should inch up rates or whether or not that's going to deter customers from coming. And as there's this balance between whether or not you want to raise rates too much and will people buy the rooms, because as you know, if nobody stays there, it's right. a night that they missed revenue. But they are trying to make money. I mean, they they're trying, trying to, to capitalize on and this. And so they are beginning to incrementally, but, but to, they need to make sure that the service is good to back that up. And so it's, a, it's an intriguing debate, and, and it's such a critical industry for us. Uh, this is another area that we're watching very closely. And finally, a really interesting story that's, that's in the Business Journal this week is about uh, the changing times, the sign of the times. People are now buying smaller, less expensive homes, so the days of that whole McMansion seem like they're over. Exactly. Do you remember those good old days a couple of years ago um, when you had you know, folks buying, you know, making these incredible deals, making lots of money in one home, going and trying to make, get the most potential home out of them uh, that they could? And what we're talking about is the people who are building homes are opting for these smaller uh, uh, footprints, but they're putting that money into remodeling. And, and better fixtures and better kinds of quality th things, and that's fueling those uh, kinds of builders are now spending a lot, getting a lot of business in remodeling, and that's a good sign because it provides some work uh, and allows folks to be a little bit more realistic about staying where they are and making sure that the quality of life in their homes is, is, is solid. Absolutely, something we all have to do. Absolutely. Right. Always good to see you, Alexis. Likewise to you. And for more Business Journal headlines, go to our website, abcactionnews.com/business.